That's your go-to move. So, obviously, those of us in the swimming fandom knew that Matt Grievers was... On his way. Not going to be single much longer, ladies. Not Sorry. Much longer. After the epic proposal on the podium. Like, try and beat that, everyone ever, with your lip dub videos. Just try and beat that. And there were some tweets about, like, oh, getting ready for the bachelor party. And we sort of knew that we probably weren't going to get any info about it. But In, initially I was like, oh, is there a straight up like lockdown? Because th that's not going to go well. Like, like it was a straight up fishbowl, put your phones in. This yes. Is, we're on lockdown because it's Grievers BP. Friday night, there was no news of Friday night. Saturday rolls around and Matt had tweeted that it was like, oh, I'm going to such and such during at, you know, on Saturday with DJ Jazzy Jeff. Jeff and a 90s party at... Day glow or something, which is like the out ghost bar. Ghost bar, thank you. Love you, ghost bar. Um, the like day club at the Palms. So at some point, I guess, um, it was like a now. This is what I'm all just sort of piecing this together from the pictures. I guess they announced it's Matt Reavers, you know, um, bachelor party, and like there's signs held up with his name. Now, one thing I would like to say that I appreciated about all of this, from what I could tell from everything we know, which is not much. There were not a whole ton of, like, of, like, ladies. Yeah. Like, there were not scantily clad ladies, really. And, you know, because I was like, Matt, do right. It like, seemed like they were gonna... having some good old-fashioned fun. Yes. Including some shades up in the club. Now. It's bright out there in the, the reason desert. Why <laughs> we, the reason why we bring up the shades in the club is because, if you don't already know, when we got to interview Nathan Adrian... Which, even saying it, makes my heart, like, beat out of my chest. I can't even watch it because it makes me feel nervous. He said, when we when we asked him about wearing the goggles out of the ready room, he was like, oh, it's not like I'm trying to rock Ray-Bans in the club. And he made, he made this gesture, I believe. And I thought that meant, I don't rock Ray-Bans in the club. And uh, some people even thought he might have been throwing shade towards someone some else. Other pe some other people. And apparently, you do. You do. You do. And you know what? I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I wasn't hating it. Listen, it's bright out there in the desert. It's like, I know he did an it's interview. It's a day club. It's a day club. It wasn't a night club. <laughs> it was a day club, and you can wear it was a club, shades though. during the day. Okay, Nathan, yes. do, you, do you, baby boy? We are just like all about supporting you in your endeavors, whether or not they involve sunglasses and corrective eyewear, which they should always involve corrective eyewear because yes. they look amazing. So we... That was like in the afternoon, then early evening starts to roll, and that's when this tweet, Ricky Barron's, was like, uh, Grievers BP temporarily on hold, people stuck in the elevator. And I won't say I had a, bat, I had a like Nathan Jam finger level freak out, but I was like... Do we need to go over there? Like, is everything okay? <laughs> I was like, do we need to drop from the ceiling and ninja open style? the top and ninja save style? them? Ninja style. I mean, the thing is, you know you're really in deep when you really do worry. Like, we say hashtag we worry as a joke, but it's like no, not really a joke. we're not really, it's not really a joke. So we're like, uh, at Ricky Barron's, is there an update on the elevator situation for those of us that are not at the party? And he's like, hold on. He was like, a Harlem Shake video is being filmed or something. And we were like, what? So then that generated, like, a ton of, you know, yeah. speculation, excitement, etc. And especially because there was a photo of Matt with a helmet on from earlier. And I was like, hello, that would be perf. And I think everybody was like... I want to see Nathan G getting down. Oh, yeah. That was really, oh, I think, a big part of it, especially yeah. after the Olympic salsa dancing, my hips don't wiggle, even though they did, thing. We wanted to see everybody getting down. And uh, everybody was really psyched about it, the potential that this could be something. But, like, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I think, I think this is, I think the video has mysteriously disappeared. Ricky, don't, don't toy with our emotions. Don't toy with our emotions. We don't have that much going on. So, 
it hurt me a little bit. And I felt oh, like I felt like the general fandom deflate a little bit. It was like <gasps> <sighs> And Ricky did make the point because we followed up about that and he's like, Oh, I don't know what happened to that video. And he's like, but be real, like, aren't you a little tired of those videos? And I was like, point taken, sir, but like don't For you, don't we'd make that. an exception. Yeah, we'd make an exception. Um, by the way, if you're not following Ricky Barron's roommate on Instagram, you're, you're missing, missing out, out on naked tweeting. <laughs>